Hi, I'm Katie with the Lehigh Acres Fire Control and Rescue District. We are really excited to join your class virtually this year for Fire Prevention Week. In this video, some of our firefighters are going to take you on a tour of our fire engine, show you some of the gear and tools they have, and also talk to you about fire safety in your home. We hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, my name is Tanner and I'm a firefighter here at Lehigh Acres Fire Control and Rescue District and I'm here with Grayson who's also a firefighter. Today we're here to talk to you guys a little bit about fire safety as well as the fire department, the fire service in general here because I'm sure a lot of you are interested in hopefully being a firefighter or a paramedic one day. We're sorry we're unable to be with you and come into your class. We love being able to show you guys the trucks every year and we look forward to hopefully being able to see you guys in person in the future. But for now, we're going to show you guys a couple cool things in this video. So the first thing we want to show you guys today is all the firefighter gear, all the cool gear that we get to wear when we fight fires. All right. Firefighter Pierce is going to show you guys some of this stuff. Wave to everyone. Talk. Hello. How are you guys doing? Everybody hear Grayson's voice. He sounds just like you and I. You're going to see when he gets all this gear on and he's on his mask and on air, he's going to sound much different, but it's still the same person. So when you call 911, that's the number you want to call in any emergency, whether there's a fire in your home or one of your family members is having a medical emergency. And remember, if there's a fire in your home, we're not going to be able to know if you need help unless someone's able to call us. So that's why it's very important for everyone to have a fire escape plan. If you don't have one already, make sure you get with mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, whoever you live with, and come up with a plan to do. If you have a fire in your home, how are you going to get out of the house, have a meeting place outside your home, somewhere like a mailbox, and that's where you guys will meet up. Then you can go to a neighbor's house to call 911. Remember, that's the number you want to call. Once we know that you need help, we'll be on our way and Firefighter Pierce is putting on his gear as if he's going to someone's house on fire so he can go in and make sure everyone's safe and get you out. He's got his mask on too as he's putting on his helmet up top. This mask allows him to breathe in all the smoke. Does everyone hear him? Hey guys, sound a lot different, don't I? <laughs> so good job, Grayson. He got dressed really fast. You guys can hear he sounds a lot different, but it's still the same person, all right? This mask and all this gear that protects him from high heat and smoke, you guys don't have that. We don't have that in our home. So that's why if you have to get out of your house, remember smoke goes up. So when smoke goes up, we go down and we crawl to get out of the house, all right? If you're trapped somewhere and you can't get out, don't hide because someone like Grayson's going to be coming to look for you and get you out. All right, we're going to show you guys a couple more cool things here. We're going to have Grayson go ahead and take his gear off. Everyone say thank you, Grayson. All right, so now we're going to show each and every one of you a little bit about our fire truck. So back here in the back is the back of the fire truck. You'll see that the two seats over here are where the firefighters sit. Then over here, we have all our air packs. So this is that big backpack looking thing that Grayson was wearing that helps him breathe if he's in a fire. This will show you guys a little bit later, but this is the fire hose that we use to put the fire out. So here's some of the cool stuff that everyone likes to see. So we have all sorts of different saws. We have this one. We have another chainsaw back behind it. We have a big fan that gets rid of all the smoke in, a, in your house. Over here, we have these big airbags that can lift up trucks, they can lift up really heavy stuff that most of us would never be able to pick up.
back here isn't as cool as some of the other stuff. It's just extra hose and extra tools and equipment. So this is what everybody likes to see. This is all of our extrication tools, which we use for vehicle racks and other rescues. This spins around so we can be able to get whichever tool we need. We have a couple different types on here. So these work, they're just powered by a little battery. You turn them on. That helps us cut into cars, into trucks, and be able to rescue people that are trapped inside. It all works off just the normal battery, and they are really, really strong. Over here, we've got an ax. We've got this. This is a really, really cool tool that only firefighters get on our trucks. It's called a Halligan. If someone's trapped, you get to break a lot of things so we can get in there to help them and rescue them. So that's most of the cool tools that we have on here. But what we're going to do is we're going to go show you guys flow, how we flow water and all the water that we can spray off this with nozzles and hose. And Grayson's going to show you guys some of that cool stuff. All right, everyone. So one last thing we want to show you is the big deck gun we have up on top of the truck. It flows a lot of water. If you guys imagine a one gallon water jug, this thing can flow a thousand of those in one minute. It flows a lot of water. This we use for really big fire and we're going to see how far that can shoot. So if we look out this way, how far do you guys think that's going to spray? While we're doing that, Grayson's over here and he's going to be connecting to this hydrant because we only have so much water on the truck and this is going to flow way more than that. All right, so now we're up here on the pump panel. This is where the engineer stands when we're on scene of a fire. He has a really important job. He has to make sure we get water to every hose line he sets up tools, he sets up all the lights, and then with all the hose lines and everything we're flowing, he has to do math. So for everyone that doesn't like math or you think you're not gonna use it, if you wanna drive a fire truck one day and you wanna be up here on the pump panel and be an engineer, make sure you guys pay attention and get good at math because he uses it a lot. So look at how far all that water goes. You can hear all the wind from the amount of water that's flowing, and we use this to put out really big fires. We can move it up, we can move it down, we can even move it from side to side. Pretty cool, right? Well, we hope you enjoyed the tour of the fire engine with our firefighters and learned something new about fire safety that you can share with your friends and family in honor of Fire Prevention Week. Stay safe. Be sure to check out our Kids Corner on YouTube to join our firefighters as they read stories, take you on a tour of other apparatus like our brush truck or even our rescue, and also demonstrate different types of equipment they use in emergencies.